Hi right, guys, we're still on type two binary nomenclature. Uh, we're doing practice sheet number one, problem number uh, eight now. So we'll change that to an eight. And so we're gonna go ahead and look at, we have SN F2. So the first thing that I always like to do is we have one SN, right? And we have two Fs. So let's see what they are. And if we go to the periodic table, we'll see that SN is right here. So SN is tin and F is uh, fluorine. So if we go back to our common monoatomic from page 13 in our packet, we notice that tin would be right here, and fluorine is right here, and fluorine is the only one that we have a charge for. We don't have a charge for our type 2, so it is a type 2. And so we go ahead and look uh, back to our question, and we know the charge of fluorine is a negative 1. So what is our charge of a tin? That's what we have to figure out what it is. So there's two ways to do this. Uh, the first way that I'm going to show you is our total charge for uh, fluorine is going to be a negative 1 times 2, which is going to be a negative 2, which means that our charge for tin has to be a positive 2. Okay. Now, again, why does that have to be? It has to be that because these two charges, the charges, the total charges have to cancel each other out. If they don't cancel each other out, the compound is not stable and it's just going to change into something else. So this is a stable compound. So we take this two, we divide it by the subscript of number of 10, a 10 that we have, which is only one. So two divided by one is a plus two. Okay. The shortcut way is, is if the charge of the nonmetal is equal to the subscript, which in this case, there's no subscript, which means that that is one, so they are equal, the subscript of the nonmetal becomes the charge of the metal. That is that reverse crisscross. And again, as always in type two uh, nomenclature, we have to write a Roman, <coughs> a Roman numeral for the charge of the metal. So in this case, we're gonna have 10, and then we have our parentheses, our Roman numeral two, and then we're gonna write fluorine, but we have to change the ending to ide, as always, and that will be fluoride. So it'll be, uh, and there we go. That's our uh, name for uh, SNF2. So it's going to be 10 2 fluoride. Hopefully, you uh, got something out of this.